Here's uh, how we do formula writing with nuts and bolts, okay? We're going to remind ourselves what everything looks like. Washers, we're going to abbreviate with a W. Uh, our bolt, we're going to abbreviate with a B. And nut, let's see if I can do a better hexagon. There we go. That's about as good as it, good as it gets, okay? So with nuts, bolts, and washers, those are our abbreviations. Okay, chemists like to abbreviate everything. So when we see a picture of something, we don't want to have to draw out that picture all the time. So what we're going to do, so here's an example. Let's say we had a washer and we had a bolt. Okay, and those are separate from each other. All right. So when we abbreviate this, what we're going to do is, since these two are separated from each other, we're going to have a washer and we're going to have a bolt, and we're going to separate them with a plus sign. So the plus sign means that uh, those two things are separate. So when we see something where they're together, we'll have, to, we'll have to do something different. So you have a washer and then connected to a bolt. So then we're going to say WB, or you could actually say BW. Either one would be fine. When it comes to chemical formulas and things like that, uh, it does matter. Uh, when it comes to uh, nuts and bolts, it does not. All right. Uh, as, uh, as an extension of that, let's say if we had two of those things, how would we how would we convey that thought? All right. So what we would do in this case is, uh, if we recognize we have two of them, go ahead and name it without. Okay. And so, you know, you could say WB in this case, or BW. Um, and then to represent that we have two, we're going to put a number in front, just sort of like we normally do. In essence, what we're saying is that you have WB plus WB. But to simplify that, just like you would do in sort of combining like terms, uh, we're going to put a number out in front. Okay. Okay. Um, some more examples using nuts and bolts. Let's see, here's another picture. Let's say we have a washer, a washer, and a washer. All right. So instead of saying W plus W plus W, we're going to say 3W. So what we know from this is that when you put a number out in front, it represents how many you have. Okay, so the number in front when you do uh, writing formulas and things like that, the number in front means how many. All right. Now, what if we had three washers that were connected? All right. They're washers, so I'm still going to write W there. But now, instead of what we're going to do, instead of writing it in front, we're going to write it afterwards, and we're going to include it as a, we're going to make it a subscript. All right, that's going to eliminate a little bit of confusion that we may run into a little bit later. All right, so when you have a subscript, it's important to recognize the subscript number goes with the letter that's in front, that's in front of it. Um, and what it means is that it's that how it, it's we have that many and they're connected to each other. So go ahead and try this one here. Uh, I'm going to ask you to see if you can come up with a formula for this, for this picture. So we have two washers connected, two washers connected, and two more washers connected. So once you've got that drawn, go ahead and write down what you think the, uh, how we would name it. I'll come around and uh, take a peek at some of your papers. Two. All right, so this one's going to be 3W2.
That's not our bell. That's weird. Um, so when you're trying to approach this, once you recognize these are all the same, here's what you're going to do. Kind of cover it up. Give it the finger. Okay? So hopefully by now we could recognize this as W2. And then what you would do is recognize and then say how many do you have and put the how many number in front. Okay? If it was like W6, for instance, all of these would be connected and it would be W sub 6. Okay? Uh, if we get slightly more complicated than this, here's another couple examples here. Uh, yes, thank you. All right. So we've got we've got three washers connected uh, and, and another three washers connected. Okay. So again, the strategy is to simplify it. Sometimes when we're looking at a, this, a, this the ACT, we call this a complex data presentation. So simplify what you're looking at, cover up one of them. Okay. So now would this be 3W or W3? be W3. So we can write that down. This can be W3. And then how many do you have? Two. two. So we put the two in front. Okay. So simplify it and cover it up there. Um, let's try this picture here. This will be our last example of what we do. helps if you're good at bubble letters with this. So when you go for, to name this again, just look at one of them. Name one of these. Once you recognize, and you can name them sort of individually too. So when we look at this, um, and again, it doesn't matter the order whether you write the bolts, the washer together or not. Okay, who can tell me uh, what this may be? Luigi, what do you think? Okay, um, very good. Now, could we have said? Could we have said this? Two. W, B, 2? Oh, yeah. We have said that as well? Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah? Oh, yeah? We certainly could. Either one of these would be acceptable. Okay? Um, because we recognize the subscript 2 goes with the B, with the bolts, either way. So those, either one of those would be totally acceptable. All right? So that's how we do form the writing with nuts and bolts.